All right, guys, we have a really great physical media day today. We're talking about the new 4K release of James Cameron's Aliens. I got to be honest, guys. I'm going to come out right off the top and say it. This was an incredible home viewing experience. I can't even lie. Aliens was awesome. So if you looked at our previous video, we talked about True Lies on 4K. And, you know, this True Lies and The Abyss all came out together. The interesting thing is how difficult it was to get all three of those movies at the same time. As a matter of fact, I think they were weeks behind. And in that True Lies video, we talked about the uh, masking almost, if you will. I forget the terminology, but basically Cameron basically scrubbed faces and tried to smoothen things out. And, um, you know, there was a little bit of back and forth. Some people don't mind it. Some people vehemently hate it, that sort of thing. Me, I just thought, you know, it was nice to have that movie in HD, but the reality was it... It just was like, it's kind of a bummer. Because uh, that movie is a great looking film, and, you know, we went through that. So going into Aliens, I was pretty nervous. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if we were going to get this sort of thing again uh, with this. I avoided reviews. So I really don't know what people are saying about Aliens. But I avoided all reviews because I wanted to go into this with a clean mind, clean slate. And uh, I got to say, uh, watching this on 4K was an exhilarating experience. This was 10 times better than True Lies was. Um, first thing I want to say is like, so I decided to watch Aliens. There's some, even some debate like, is this a horror movie or not? And I was like, to me, it's freaking horrifying, this movie. Are you kidding me? So I was like, I'm going to watch Aliens in my horror movie room, which is this room. I'm going to turn out the lights. I am eight feet away from a, actually not even that, I'm more like five and a half. I'm five feet away from a 65 inch 4K TV. I'm going to shout out the lights, and I'm going to watch this movie. It felt like I was at the movie theater. I was in my nice chair that you see here, and I sat down and watched this movie. And the opening shot, it's like that matte painting of the sky, and you see the little shades of blue, and then you see the uh, spaceship coming closer and closer in. I was like, this is incredible. It looked so good. And all the meeting scenes in the beginning with Ripley trying to explain, no, like, this was not, this was an alien, blah, blah, we, we saw it, we fought it, we... We got we we threw it out the cockpit. All those scenes looked great, and uh, when you when you get to the parts of the movie after that where Ripley decides to go aboard to stop this thing once and for all, and she's sitting in you know the bunkers with everybody, and then Lance Henderson sits next to her. Like er everything looked so good. I even looked at the faces. I was like, I wonder if they're going to do the same kind of artifacting. I don't know if that's the word for it, but I wonder if they did some of that. There might have been. A moment where I almost noticed it but I could have just been psyching myself out uh, saying that I noticed it and the reality was I really didn't I didn't notice that kind of face stuff at all which also begs a question there are people wondering if Cameron didn't really want to do this or not because there were rumors people talked about this on the true lies video I did that supposedly the negative was damaged for true lies and doing what he did was actually a technique he felt he needed to do in order to uh, make the film look high definition because of some sort of something was wrong that was the impression I, I got I can't confirm nor deny that but I can say um, if you're on the fence about picking any of these up I gotta say I thought aliens was the absolute tits it looked so good I would give the picture quality on this a solid nine and a half out of ten the battle scene where she's in the the uh, the walking lo loader, you know those those contraptions are so cool, by the way, and they're fighting. It looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. And there's even one shot in the movie that I was it, it kind of took my breath away, uh, where Ripley is kind of like sitting on a bed or something. It, it was one of the characters. I forget the character because I was just like, wow, this looks so good, and it almost looks 3D. Like there's so. It's so there's you could see every scrape of data in the image like it was so comprehensively 4k looking I was blown away by it um you know aliens actually doesn't have the a bad uh, home video history in terms of picture quality as far as I remember I remember that I watched this the quadrilogy quadrilogy version of aliens which is in like that thick black box set and I remember it looking really good I actually remember seeing some film grain in there if memory serves I don't remember seeing much film grain in this. But um, if it was, it was very, very... You'd have to, you'd have to look at it with a fine-tooth comb to see it. I, I enjoy some film grain. It's not the end-all, be-all for me. Um, I, I, I like it when I see it. But 
when it comes to just exper the experience, I think the experience is just as important to the to the to the person watching this as it is to me just talking about the picture quality. The viewing experience of this on 4K, I it, it's hard for me to not come out of this and say this is one of the best movies ever made because seeing it in 4K and high definition was remarkably incredible. I I I got to say this completely took me by surprise. I was not expecting this to look as good as it did. Just sensational. We'll take a look at the release real quick. Here is Aliens on 4K. Um, not the worst cover art, you know. Uh, it, it is what it is. Um, here is the back. We'll talk about the special features momentarily. Um, there's one minor gripe in terms of uh, packaging. So, it's a three-disc set. You know, you get your Blu-ray... Your Blu-ray version, your 4K version, and then you've also got uh, under here. So they they, they they stack two discs in here. Let me see if I can figure, if I can get this right there. I was watching that. This is the bonus disc. Um, why do they why do they do this? I'm not too sure. It's not the end of the world. I I don't like being dramatic about first world problem stuff. I just would have prefer, preferred the flap, even though those aren't great either. Just because you don't have your disc, one of the discs just rub it up against the one under it. Over time, if you're if you you know you're not delicate with it, it could smudge and, and scratch, and that's just a pain in the ass. I don't think there's any reversible art. There probably wouldn't be, not for camera and stuff. So, no, no, no reversible art on there. Uh, but guys, you know we're gonna talk about the special features. But this was such a badass viewing experience. I freaking can't believe how much I liked it. Okay, so let's talk about what's on that bonus disc for special features, and we'll, we'll look at the back of this. I'll read you what's on the discs, uh, the bonus discs for the main the main two discs for the movies, and then we'll look at the bonus features. In case I didn't say it in this review, I just want to make it known, I watched the theatrical version. That's my preferred version of this movie, so that's the version I watched on this, because you got the theatrical version, then you got the 1990 re-edit version, so just FYI, guys. But on here, on disc 1, it's the 4K, and disc 2 is the Blu-ray versions for the movies. We have the theatrical and special edition audio commentary by James Cameron, cast and crew, introduction by James Cameron on the special edition only, isolated scores by James Warner, the final theatrical and composer's original score, direct access to new additional scenes from special editions, and then the disc three bonus features, we'll look at the screen right now and show it, because this does not show everything that it has. All right, so we've got the inspiration design of aliens, superior firepower, making aliens, superior firepower, making aliens, enhanced pods, post -produ pre-production, production, and post-production aftermath. I got to give the aliens release a solid nine and a half out of 10. This blew True Lies out of the water in terms of just a viewing experience on high definition. But then again, I think most people would probably tell you that Aliens is a better movie than True Lies regardless. But I just cannot get over how much I was blown away by this on 4K. Now, the way I watch it lights out. I've, I'm five and a half, six feet from my 65-inch TV in here, sitting in my uh, you know, leather chair. It was just mind-blowing. Awesome. I loved it. So, guys, this release, Cameron, you're all right. You know, we still got the abyss to go. Right now, you're all right. Don't piss me off, Cameron. No, I'm just kidding. I love James Cameron. Who doesn't love James Cameron? Um, so, guys, I highly recommend Aliens. If you're kind of waiting to see which way the wind's blowing with these, I, I, I'll put my name on Aliens for you guys. I really feel strongly about how good it was. So, Thank you guys for watching. What was your experience with Aliens if you got it? Were you not as happy as I were? Were you even happier than me? Let me know, but I'll tell you one thing, man. I already want to rewatch that on 4K. That's how good it was. I f never feel like rewatching a movie I just saw, but I would watch that right now. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you.